when you have macros, whether you recorded them or created them in VBA, it is sometimes nice to have quick access to them. So I'm going to show you a few ways. One is that you put in your quick access toolbar a button for a specific macro. Another one we will do with a button on your screen. And a third one we will do with making a new menu here on top. So let's see what the options are. I'm going to the Visual Basic Editor and we are going to do those three things as I told you already. The first subroutine, which cannot really be recorded this way, you have to really type it. Uh, this is a very simple macro that makes your formula view visible or hide again. Uh, you don't really have to do it with a macro, but let's just play the game. You can also use control and then the tilde uh, below the escape key. Um, let's do this one first. So we are going to put it on the quick access toolbar. When you are here, you are going to make sure that you have the file options available. Go to quick access toolbar and you are going to look for macros and the one that I had called formula view is right here so I can add it to my toolbar okay so now you will see it's right there you can change the image I'm not going into that issue so this one will show that view as I told you already you can also use control tilde so it's not really a powerful one, but it's good to know how to do that for your favorite macro. The second one we are going to put on the sheet. This is my timesheets sheet. And each time I click on this button, it will add a new timesheet here on top. Let me show you and it asks how many hours do you have and I click on OK. Notice that it follows where you are. If I am here, it will follow me here. So if you have a huge spreadsheet, it's always around. And I could keep doing that and doing that. Okay. Um, this one cannot really be recorded. So you need to know a little more about VBA. I, um, I made a CD-ROM that has helped thousands of people to become experts in Visual Basic. This is what it does for you. You can find it at genesispc.com. I'm going back to timesheet screen. How, how do you get that button on there? Make sure you have the developers tab available. If not, you go again to options. Customize the ribbon and make sure that your developers tab is turned on and not off. Okay. Once that is there, you can go there at any time and insert a new button. When I click on insert, it gives me these options and I go to the button tab. That is a command button, and, and you draw it anywhere you want it to be. You go back to Developer, and you click on View the Code, and that's where you type your VBA code. Um, once you are done with that, make sure that you turn the design mode off, otherwise that button is still floating on the screen. Uh, I'm just going to delete it. I did that already here. So, and behind this button, if I, I go to Developer again, I have to make sure that the design mode is off. Okay. So, where is that code? I put that on the sheet timesheet, which is in my case sheet 18. And when I open that one, I put in there the command button one click. I didn't rename it, so that is the button you just implemented. And then the click event. There are many more events, but you want the click event. And I'm going to call the macro or the subroutine timesheet. But in order to make that m button move, I also need the worksheet 
object and then by default selection change that means when you go to another cell that is a selection change event I get this and I put in there a very simple code command button 1 whatever it is called dot top is the active cell top plus the active cell height the left plus the width so now that button works fine if you know what timesheets does I put that in in the module macros and there is timesheet. I'm, I'm not going to explain that extensively. It's hard to record this one, so you really have to know Visual Basic a little bit or just copy this code. So that one should work fine. I have many more subroutines here. How to insert a sheet another involved one how to create a calendar I will not explain that one for you may never use this particular one and then I did a few auto size one that automatically fits the entire column to the widest entry you can use the freeze panes you can do a toggle button for dollars on or off So you either do no pennies or two pennies. Then you can split your screen. You can paste values with a very simple formula. And finally you can put a timestamp in a specific cell. So you put in there the active cell value equals the time, whatever the current time is the number format the way you want to do it and then use the auto size one that we had implemented earlier make them automatically fit how do you get those in your menu way on top I am doing that by creating a s another module insert a module and I call it set menu but call it whatever you want I put, before I do any subs, I put a constant in there and I declare that as macros as a string and that has a string of macro names in double quotes separated by commas. These were the ones that I just showed you and you just put your entire list there so we can display that list in the top menu. Then we declare a variable that I call submenus, but whatever you want. You declare a command bar pop-up variable and a command bar control. Then I declared a v array as a variant. A variant can hold an array, multiple entries. I split as macros, which is that long string, I split it at the comma and put it in V-Array. So the first element in V-Array will hold insert sheet, the second one auto size, etc. Then if the menu is not there yet, we are going to set it up. We set O menu to the command bars collection application, the first element, all the controls in it, and we add a control pop-up and the last argument is true which means make it temporary okay. then we give it a name, a caption the ampersand here means that you can also use later on alt m as a shortcut and they call that a accessor key then we loop through that array up to the last element arrays always start at zero add a control give it a, the name of that macro v array i on action do run that v array macro okay. then we run this menus from workbook opens. So I double click on this workbook 
and I put in there based on the object workbook the open event based on the workbook the open event and I put in there what I had called menus so I'm going to take the apostrophe out so it's going to run menus that means now when I open the workbook it will automatically implement the menus. I'm going to run this from right here so I don't have to open and close, which you could. And don't forget to save it as a macro enabled file. I'm going to run it by pressing F8. And now it's going to run all of this and, and I'm going to and finish it. So now you will see that on your top toolbar you have an add ins one and that add ins one has all your macros that you gave these names so if I do an insert a sheet it say what is the sheet name and it will do that okay. if you want to run another one I'm going to, to sh this sheet say I am here and I want to put a split in there I go to add ins and I do the splitting and it will automatically put a split here if I do that again it will automatically turn it off and so you could test all your macros and they all should work fine again you may need to know a little bit more about VBA but if you have already your macros recorded or whatever you did you don't even need VBA all you have to do is add a few extra tools